Okay, what do I do? Oh, it's a bone! You are, wow, you are really cute! Send out the chicken! Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Aw, oh, that's okay, such a cute chicken. dog! He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog? What are you- Oh no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Aww. That dog's so cute. <laughs> oh, I want to play fetch. I want to play fetch with him. Good, good dog. Oh man, you are a serious fetch artist. Go get it. Puppy. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> this dog is just so adorable. Here you go, little guy. Make a painting. There we go. Here you go, all done. It's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> I didn't need to know that part. That's it. I think I learned everything. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? You bet I am. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent, be my You're going best down! Friend. You got this, Jesse! Nice try, Kent. Taking you down. <laughs> Me? Taken down by you? Inconceivable. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, what it? I guess I could try this. It's not gonna be perfect, but like I said, I tried. Hold on, we do the. We just take off. We switch that with the green. Alright. It's not. Like I said, it's not really good. Nice. Yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do lapis this! Lapis blue. Silence from the audience, please. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Yeah! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> That's true. Silence, please. Waffles. His best friend was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That 
is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close! Kent, you might finally lose your title! <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah. Oh, it's Butch. You're wrong. But, but, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. It's Birch. It's Birch. You, uh... Yes. Yes. Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Jesse. Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. <laughs> the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You'll cry, baby. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He cries. I hope you find what you're looking for. I told you I was gonna crush ya. Huh, kinda cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? Jump on Fred's bed. No one will mind if I just... <laughs> I want to keep jumping on it. <laughs> oh, this is so fun! <laughs> oh, this is probably super disrespectful to Fred. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, wait, read. Whoa, half the pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. That's in the closet. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Oh, secret room. There's got to be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. <coughs> oh, there's a book. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That, this is Fred's journal. 
I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well, before this place she was considered me. underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo, we'll Romeo you. trapped us down here, he wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! Oh. Ugh, thanks. You are sticky lava. Obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I what? No. You, <laughs> oh! I'm a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know. I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I I just tease because I love. So, 
But that uh, is true. What's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves. No! Oh! Ugh. Uh, rough ride. No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? Da did ya? What the? Oh my god, no way! It's gotta be Ivor! I remember that from... <coughs> It's Ivor! This is just like season one. Yeah. I'm gonna kick. Come on. Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? Yes! Ivor! Your friend Ivor. I'ma need you now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master I Shadows to me. This is he claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very nice. Huh, you see, ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow, Master Shadow, teach you how to whine too? No, and rude. <laughs> it's good to see you, Ivor. I... yes. Yes, it's good to see you too. Though I'm not sure I like this new look of yours. Says the guy dressed as an actual ninja. Why do you think you tried to kill me? Ah, uh, yes. That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished. After fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did at first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the Admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja's senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No. But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say <laughs> to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have I missed Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? <laughs> I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. 
You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic! Yeah, believable! And I tried to escape! Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? <laughs> Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you saw nothing. I missed him. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. I love Ninja That's when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Okay, everyone, that was the next part. I have to say, having an eyeball back is awesome. I miss Ninja Ivor. <coughs> I mean, I missed Ivor, but now he's a ninja. But anyway, hit a like. Just hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Check out my other videos in the description. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you for the next part of the Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 4. Bye!